Hey guys, I'm Tyler. Welcome to the shop. Hey, today I'm going to show you an easy way to cut perfect circles with your plasma cutter every time. Let's do it. First, I want to show you guys a store-bought circle cutter. This one's made by Flange Wizard. And the only drawbacks to this are that it can only cut about a three-foot circle and the price. But maybe you need to cut a circle bigger than three feet, or maybe you don't want to spend the money on a tool like that because you're not going to use it all the time. Let me show you how to make a really cheap and easy one, probably for free with just scraps you have laying around. So for this demonstration, we'll just cut out a 12 inch circle, which means we have a six inch radius. First thing we wanna do on our workpiece is measure out and mark where the absolute center of the circle will be. Next thing we wanna do is cut a piece of flat bar that is two inches longer than the radius. Since our radius is six inches, we're cutting out an eight inch piece of flat bar. Now we wanna mark two marks in the center of the piece of flat bar in one inch. So let me try to clarify this a little bit. The piece of flat bar that we just cut out made our two marks on. One mark, we're gonna drill a hole the same size as the tip on our plasma cutter. The other mark, we're gonna drill a hole that's the same size as whatever small machine screw or bolt you have handy that you can use. So if you have a little quarter inch bolt, make a quarter inch hole. If you have a little machine screw, just drill a hole the size of that little machine screw. This will all make sense in a minute, so just stick with me here. So now we need to measure the tip of the plasma cutter so we know what size hole to drill and go ahead and drill it. And flip your piece around and drill your small hole on the other end for your little machine screw or whatever you found. This is what I found. So stick it in there and then head over to your workpiece and drill that same size hole in the center of where you want your circle to be. Stick the machine screw in that hole and I think you probably can understand how this works now. But let's try it out. Well, there you have it. Perfect circles every time. Hey, if you guys like the video, uh, I don't know, maybe subscribe. We'll be doing a lot more shop videos and ranch work videos and that sort of thing in the near future. So, uh, hope to see you back around here. All right, guys. See you next.